it's so late. 10.45. Boy, oh boy. Just uh, take care of that. Good. All right. I think I have the camera not upside down. That would be nice to not have it upside down for a change. <laughs> it's so late. But I had a really good evening. Um, if you're not friends with me on Facebook, you can see... If you are friends with me on Facebook, rather, you can see that... Um, I think I even posted a couple of videos here. Yes, I did. I um, posted videos of me of, of us in our town. Our town has weekly um, free video, oh, free videos. Oh my gosh, free concerts in the park. And so tonight there was a really fun group. It's called they they were called Flashback. And so okay, so it's it's pretty funny in a good way. Um, I guess yeah, funny in a good way. We um, went, and it is a um, a concert in the park, like I said, and it's free. And the and the um, band that was playing was called Flashback. So in my mind, Flashback means. Do I have this right set up? I just want to make sure I have this right set up because it looks like it's backwards to me. Um, in in my mind, Flashback means you know music from the seventies and eighties. <laughs> so, um, it wasn't, it was music from the, uh, sixties and fifties, which is fine. I just thought it was funny that our idea of flashback was definitely different than the, um, the majority of the people that were at the fun thing tonight. It was a lot of fun. So if you care to go look at some videos, you can find, I think that I have them public on, um, my personal page and I have a couple of here as well so yes indeed my camera is upside down of course because why would it not be proper it's me you know I'll turn this around hopefully that's gonna work out okay let's see <laughs> of course I had it upside down I had this canoe I didn't I didn't even want to deal with like having the camera towards me I thought it would be like you know easier and now of course I had to swing it around anyways. So now I have to wait for Facebook to catch up. So what the heck was up with Facebook today? Is there anybody else out there who's here? Hi, Cody. Thanks for stopping by. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope life is going well for you. Are you having a busy summer? <clears throat> Summer's a crazy time, especially um, around here. A lot of um, fun stuff to do around our area for the summertime. Summertime. Okay, so let me see now. Did I turn it upside down? Nope, I got it in the right place now. All right, cool. Um, so, everybody's been busy. Yeah. And so, what have you been up to? Anything interesting? Let me try to fix this stupid camera. Okay. Um, we've been kind of like having it low-key, but busy. Busier than we've been in a lot of summers. Um, but it's kind of weird because we never have the kids anymore. And so... That makes things cool and fun and just weird. Okay, so I didn't want to use Adventure. I have our Let's Go to the... So yesterday I did... Oh, yesterday I did a really, really, really cute one. <clears throat> it was for the beach. And... So I had a dilemma. I tried to put the fishing net on it and the fishing net didn't work. And I ended up making a cute little bow. And look how cute this came out. So, this is project number one of This Way 2. So, I'm trying to keep up with my um, daily posts. I love doing chalk. I love hanging with people and doing chalk online. It's so much fun. Just trying to get this website up. Running nonstop, Cody. I, I hear you. I hear you. We've been going to these concerts in town, which are fun. And then the husband's business is really busy in the summer. And then I'm busy doing this. And I'm starting a website. And i got to deal with my kids and visiting. And i got to go visit my sister. And all these things are amazing and fun. But it makes for a very busy summer. Did you know that today is the exact halfway mark of summer? So summer is officially half over. How crazy is that? That's just crazy to me. That's crazy talk. I feel like... The first half of the year always flies by to me. I don't know why that is. It just is. I'm going to put up a little bit of a light here. Give us some better light to get better color. And you guys can see a little bit better. I thought I could get away with it, but apparently not. Everything looks gray. No, everything just doesn't look like the, the right color. So it's awfully late, but I didn't care. I wanted to do a, a chalk thing. I have in my mind that I've been wanting to do this for a long time, this particular project. So I'm going to do it. 
whatever happens, happens. So there's my beachy sign. That looks a lot better. Look, the lighting is a lot better. Like the little bow, put a little shell. Very cute indeed. So continuing with the same transfer, I'm gonna put something on this really cool canoe. I don't know if you remember, way back I, I bought this, I sanded it, I stained it, and I was gonna use it for Father's Day, and then I misplaced it. Oh my gosh. In my house, I misplaced something. And I'm not a clutterer person. <laughs> are you saying it just started? Sorry, hon. I know it just started. Where are you working? Any place cool? I just work here at my desk all day long. My husband's a cracks whip. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I hope it's a fun job for the summer. Summer jobs can be, uh, they can go either way. They can go either way. So I'm going to put let's go, uh, this way to the lake on my on my um, canoe here. And I'm going to use Bumblebee and Grake. Don't they look pretty together? I think they look pretty together. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. I have to figure out where I'm going to put the arrow. Not really sure where I'm going to put the arrow. I think I'm going to put the arrow below it. We'll see. We'll see. Just sending a couple of invites out. You know, it's what I do. Oops, oh gosh, I invited my son who's never on Facebook. That is hysterical. I know he's not gonna show up because he's never on Facebook. He's one of those kids that rebels against Facebook. <laughs> Who says, uh-uh, not interested. He's on Snapchat. Are you on Snapchat? Anybody here on Snapchat? I've been forbidden from going on Snapchat. I have. Oh, the YMCA in Carbondale. It's like one of my favorite places. My husband and I want to uh, go back to the um, to the pool this winter. We did that one year, and it was a lot of fun. I want to do that again this year. Super fun. Okay, let's get to let's get to choking. Okay, so I'm gonna put this way to, and I'm gonna use do the words and the arrow in yellow, and I'm gonna do the lake in gray. And I have this other little bit of design. I just don't know if that's going to fit on there. Now, this was kind of hard for me to determine where it was in the center. I just have to like bend this. Yeah. I fold down the sides to so that I can see is the distance between here and here and here and here the same. That's pretty much how I'm going to get that centered. Okay. So, all right. I think that that's good. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. <coughs> Yes, yeah, Snapchat is like the Snapchat is like the cool the, the cool place where the cool kids hang out. I'm uninvited. I'm not the cool kid. I'm the annoying mother. <laughs> they don't my kids don't even like if I like their picture. They don't like my picture. It's like okay, my kids are funny that way. They're, they're slowly starting to outgrow that since they are, I don't know, 25. <laughs> 25 and 27. You got a ways to go for that Cody, right? I don't think you're that old. Maybe. No, you're not that old. Look what I just did. All right, I splashed that. All right. Isn't this color fun? This is like such a fun, bright color. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. That is looking good. So super easy. I feel like I'm going to be done with this in three seconds flat. <laughs> so we'll have to see. I have some hemp rope that I might have wanted to put around it, but I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll have to see. Okay, so there's that. Now the arrow I'm going to put on the bottom here. I still have like ink on my fingernails. Ugh, what a mess. What a hot mess. Today I went to Home Depot and found a saw. Now I really wanted to get a table saw, but a table saw is a couple hundred bucks. I didn't have a couple of hundred bucks, so then I thought I was going to put a saw on my Dremel so that I can cut wood to make my own frames. But the Dremel wasn't going to be strong enough. And my husband found this funky thing. It's like a, a saw. And then there's like this plastic big guard thing. I'll show it on another video. And it, it guides your saw so that you can get the perfect angle to make picture frames. Because that's really what I need to do. So, before you know it, holiday season is going to be here. And i got to have all my stuff together here. Now, some people put it like that. And some people put it in an X, in a cross. And then put the words lake across it. I think I just want to do it like this because then it just says, oh, look, it's this way to the lake. Okay, I want to have this part as close to the bottom as I can, because I um, pretty much as close as I can, because I want to be able to make sure that I have room for the words the lake. And the distance between here and here 
and here and here. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Please don't fold in on itself. Gentle, 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 gentle. I'm not pulling it hard. If it folds in on itself, uh-oh, just don't panic. There's no reason to panic. So, tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Tuesday. It's going to be another warm day tomorrow. Today was absolutely, beyond a shadow of a doubt, a summer day. It was hot. I mean, for me to have the air conditioning on all day, I used to be one of those people that hated the cold. Um, and now, no, that hated this, the, the warm. And now I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm getting old. I think that's what it is. So, all right, I want to do this in yellow. I'm hoping that this is going to look cool. We'll see. My paste here is way too thick. Need a little bit of the water. Okay, I just squirted a little bit of distilled water in there. I'm going to use my multi-tool to stir my paste because that is definitely too thick. It's a great color. Yeah. So the new catalog is out, and I know that some designers... Oh, look, I've got a little flip on I'm going to wait. That's to dry, and I can scrape it off. Um, some designers are working on fall and Christmas stuff, but I'm going to give myself until the end of July. I'm going to start fall stuff in... Um, in August, I think that um, I'm not I'm not quite ready to do to do fall stuff yet. So there's that. Let's see if that works better. You're turning 21 in November. You look young. You'll appreciate that when you're 40, hun. I know you will. Nobody appreciates it when they're 21. When people say you look like you're 15, but then again, I'm old and everybody looks like they're 15 to me. I mean, seriously, the kids in. Um, the kids that I know from Scouts, my husband's involved in Scouts, and I see these kids, and um, I just, I just still think of them as 15 years old, <laughs> and they're like in college, whatever. I love when I see some of my kids' old friends from high school, and one of them, oh my gosh, he's the nicest kid. He is ginormously tall. I mean, when I say tall, I think he's six four, tall and thin, and he is a basketball player. But I just could not believe how tall he got. He like literally towers over me. All right, let's see how that looks. <sighs> Look how nice. All righty, liking that. I am liking this yellow, liking the yellow. I have my little tub of water over here, throw my stuff in here. <clears throat> so if you're stopping by on the YouTube, or you're watching this on the replay, thank you for stopping by, I appreciate it. Give me some thumbs ups and hearts and all that stuff. Facebook loves when you do that. The best thing you can do for me is to send my video off into the world of Facebook by clicking that little arrow button. Is it an arrow button? I don't know. Um, where is it? Yes, it's the arrow button. Okay, to send it off into the world of Facebook so that other people can enjoy the pleasure of my company as I work on my canoe paddle. <laughs> I am excited for the fall and for holidays though. I know it's so far away and I shouldn't be thinking that way, but I think when you make uh, decorative home decor, you wanna be a season ahead. So um, it's good for me to be thinking this way. My website is just, um, it's, it's up. It's called This Life Redone thislife.redone.com and it's it's all uh that wasn't dry and it's all about um my husband and I are just having these adventures now without the kids around and so we're redoing our life and our home and we got involved in a church after a really weird church experience like it was like major weirdo church experience that was a while ago but you know, it's just important to not blame God because people are idiots. That's what I always tell my kids. I know it sounds so crazy, but you know, people are going to let you down. People, human beings, we're all human beings. We're all going to let each other down. You know what? God will never let you down. That's my view anyway. Okay, so I think that this is good to go and I want to have this centered. So on my website, we're going to have things that I've made all kinds of things that I'm going to make, not just with chalk couture, because I am like a crafter. I love creating stuff. And so it's going to be all kinds of things, Christmas ornaments and things for grandkids and things for weekend getaways and all kinds of fun stuff's going on there. Ah, uh, night is this weekend. Oh, Cody, are you one of the heat lovers? Ah. <laughs> all right. I guess I'll let you stick around. Here's my storm. 
my husband and one of my sons, they love the heat. My son is spending his first summer in New York City. And let me tell you, there is no hot like the hot of New York City when it's 90 degrees because it's 90 degrees and it just has this smell, okay? I love New York City, don't get me wrong. Let me tell you, it sometimes got a funk. And when it is super hot, the smell of the steel from not just the cars, but you gotta remember, the roads are all made with steel. They have like steel uh, grating that they put the tar on top of, right? And so it just, it is a very heavy smell. I don't know how else to put it, but everything in the city just smells heavy. And so I used to love to be able to find a way to get it where there was some nature. And our nature was, you know, Central Park. But Central Park is beautiful. Central Park is shady and trees. And there's a castle. And there's statues of Alice in Wonderland. So if you ever get to go to New York City. Oh, I missed that little end. Uh-oh. New York City in this, uh, to go to um, Central Park. It is a fun place to visit. I'm not going to lie. But the stank of New York City in the summer is intense. I'm not going to lie about that either. Here we go. <sighs> Look how nice that looks. I love it. It. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh, I so love that. Really cute. All right, put this in the water here. Oh, oh no, it's stuck to the other transfer. Came off right away because it's in the water. Okay, so now it's a little plain, but then again, plain might be good. What's that? I don't know what that is. A little something. So I had this little design and I thought to put it on the end, but it wasn't going to fit with the. I think if I put anything else on it, it's going to over embellish it unless I do a shadow with the lake, but I'm really loving the way that looks just the way it is. Okay. So now I have some hemp rope and I thought maybe I put the hemp rope here, right? And this is how I'm going to have it, um, have it hang. Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. You know what? I don't know if this one is long enough because I want to wrap it around. Let me get the other whole spool of thread. Thread? No, this isn't thread. This is just jute. It's not even hemp. It's jute. Okay, put this in here. Cover this here. Let's see where we are. I want to be able to hang this really cool. All right. And making sure that hot glue gun is plugged in. I want to be able to hold this. Um, I want to be able to hold the rope down. Okay, so I'm going to go in here this way. And in my mind's eye, this is going to work. So yesterday when I was making that really, really cute... Um, uh, um, to the beach one. Well, I wanted in my mind, <laughs> I thought that it would look cool if I had like this fishing net. So I picked up a fishing net at, um, I want this to be on the other side. I picked up a fishing net, really cheap one at the dollar store. And when I tried to do it, it just, it just was not working. So that's when I gave it up and I put the bow on with the shell instead, which I actually like. All right, so I'm not really quite sure what to do with the netting, um, but that didn't work. Okay, so here I want to go around a couple of times to make it look really, uh oh, okay. I need to put glue on there because I don't want it to interfere with my word the, all right. The hot glue gun hot. It is the hot glue gun hot. Not yet. Uh oh. <clears throat> so I see some other people here. If you're here, say hello to me just so I know you're here. Hello. I'm glad you're here. Let me know if you're here. If you see what I'm making here, it's a really cool canoe sign that says this way to the lake. I'm not going to put a lot of glue on there. I just want to be able to hold it still so that it is not going to roll into the letters there that I have. Okay, put another little piece of glue here. And there, just a tiny bit. I don't really need a lot. Just enough to hold it in place so it doesn't roll down onto, onto the words there. Okay, I uh, probably could have moved the words down a little bit further, right? I probably could have done that. Oh well, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. 
what did my grandfather used to say? I, I um, he used to wear that. I think I can't, I think I should, so I might. Something like that, whatever. I'm not making any sense now. <laughs> All right, so now I want to tie this off here with that other little piece of string uh, of uh, jute that was in the back here. Okay, that's tied off. All right, now I'm going to have this come up here. All right, put some glue here to hold it in place. Let's see if that's gonna work. Oop. I'm not quite sure if this rope is gonna be uh, strong enough to hold to hold that up. I think that it will. I also do not want to burn my finger. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's see. Now I'm gonna want this to come around over here. I'm gonna cut some extra. And I wanna make sure that I have enough. Where's my scissor? Scissor, scissor. Okay, I just have the scissor. There it is. I was cutting the oh, but the scissor. All right, there we go. Move it over here so I don't melt my transfers, which has happened in the past. I've not ruined it, but it definitely has happened. Okay, so I want this to be able to hang. All right, so I'm going to take this rope and I'm going to start it down here. Let's see, I need this to be this way. I think that's good. Mm, maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe like that. All right, so I'm gonna put a little glue here to hold the rope in its place. Right there. I really am excited about my uh, my new website because, like I said, I do love doing chocolate tour. Don't get me wrong, but I like making all kinds of things, and so it's going to be fun um, to see how that works out for me and the husband in starting this online thing that we'd like to do. So my soft launch is going to be this week. Facebook was being a horrible, horrible thing to me today. So I was not able to do a lot of the things that I wanted to get done today because Facebook literally blocked me out of my page. And so that kind of like limited me with things that I could get done today. Uh, I'm trying to make this go around. Surely I do know how to do this. There we go. All right. Touch of glue there. I'm using this because I don't want to burn my finger. I have burned my finger with blisters before and gotten blisters before, I should say. And blisters from a hot glue gun are not fun at all. And that is the truth. Okay, so I went around just a couple of times. I want to try to kind of keep it a little bit even. I'm just going around and trying to line it up there don't want it to hit the arrow just like I didn't want it to hit the words and put a little bit of a dot of glue Oops, where here all right I think this is actually gonna work I'm sure that there's an easier way to do this I'm sure that somebody's gonna watch this hi dot thanks for stopping by I'm glad you're here I'm sure that somebody's going to watch this and be like, how come you didn't do it this way? Because that's why it's so much easier. I was like, well, because um, I don't know. Because I don't always plan out my projects. Shocking, I know. <laughs> I am a last minute person. I work better under pressure. Anybody else like that? Work better last minute. I work better last minute. I have friends who have to have things planned out like, you know, weeks and days in advance. My husband can be like that too. I'm just, I don't know. I just, I just work better last minute. I was like that in school too. Wait till the last minute to get my, my projects done and I would get better grades on the ones that I, that I took my time with or, or, and did at the last minute rather and rushed, rushed to do it. I consistently got better grades when I did my papers and stuff late at night, we into the hours of the morning that the paper was due. So everybody has their way to work. Just like I'm a night person. I would love to be a day person. 
watch the sunrise. But as I heard somebody say once, if God wanted me to enjoy the sunrise, he would have made it later in the day. <laughs> yeah, that's how much I despise mornings. But I try. I'm 54. I'm almost 54 years old. I should just accept how I am, right? This is how I am. This is how God made me to be. But my husband is a morning person. He wakes up cheerful and happy. I'm like, oh my gosh, please just get away from me until I have my coffee. Um, but I know that I get a lot more done, obviously, if I'm up early. Go to bed early. It's just not my thing. It's not my jam, man. It's not my jam. It's not what I do. All right. There we go. Now, I might at some point put something on the back to make this a two-sided frame. Oh, but look how cute that is. All right. What do we think? Are we liking this? I love it. I'm very happy with how that came out. <clears throat> I don't really live very much near the lake. I'm probably going to put this in my store and sell it. Let's see if it's going to hang nice. Oh, it's going to hang nicely, too. You can't see where I'm hanging it, but it's definitely going to hang nicely there. All right. Well, there you have it. This way to the lake. And I had a lot of fun with this one. And thanks for stopping by. Again, if you're stopping by on, on the YouTube channel or you're watching this on the replay, you like what you see and you want to see some more, ask me to put you in my group. I'll send you the link for that. And if you are interested in possibly doing workshops and having parties and stuff, it's really an easy business to have. Um, not easy to make a ton of money. Don't get me wrong. It's not that kind of that. that but to, to start a business and to make a couple of bucks for this, for the or, over the course of a month and having a party and, and doing workshops, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and uh, the commitment is low. If you're interested in that, let me know. I just signed two more people last week. That's exciting to me. So just put send me a message, and I will get the information to you. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you all have uh, you all. Oh, my gosh. As if I am from the South. Um, I am not from the South. So I'll say you guys. You guys have a really great night, and I will see you tomorrow.